Hanımlar, beyler, Avrupa Parlamentosu'ndan hazırlanıp yayınlanan tek Türkçe program Brüksel Kargası'na hoş geldiniz. Programımız 15 günde bir YouTube kanalımızda sizlerle oluyor. Bir grup gönüllüyle birlikte hazırlıyoruz programımızı. Lütfen YouTube kanalımıza abone olun. Etrafınızda Avrupa Birliği konularıyla ilgilenen kişilere de programımızı tavsiye edin. Her programda olduğu gibi birbirinden değerli konukları ağırlıyoruz. Bugün de önemli bir konuğumuz var. Yunanistanlı milletvekili Mr. Kirkos bugün bizlerle birlikte. Welcome to our program. Uh, let's start with the refugee issue. If we look at our region, Turkey and Greece, but also Europe in general, how do you see the current situation? Is it going well? We know that uh, two years ago we had the big flows coming mainly from Syria and crossing Turkey, reaching Greece and then going to the north countries of Europe. Uh, the numbers were high, one million people and more. Uh, Greece was very pressed to support all these people, uh, but we managed and most of them moved to the other European countries. But this also had deaths into the sea because people drowned when they were carried by traffickers, by smugglers. Also the condition for them been accepted in the islands and then in the mainland and then moving along the Balkan way, the conditions were very difficult. So we didn't want that to happen again. So in March last year, it was created the agreement between the European Union and Turkey that uh, managed to support Syrians living in Turkey, giving almost 3 billion euros to mainly NGOs that support the, the refugees uh, for health, education, better conditions of life. Also, this agreement stopped the flow almost from two, three, four thousand a day, now are under 70 per day. And the condition in the islands has improved, although still there are delays in the process of the asylum requests, because it takes time according to the law. So they get added each and every month. But generally, from Turkish side, it's working 100% because every Syrian we, we give back to Turkey. Another Syrian is resettled from Turkey to countries in Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, the pressure on the Greek side is much, much less. We see that, unfortunately, we don't have another Turkey in Libya. We don't have a state that we can work together. So the flows of economic migrants towards Italy and Europe are still high there and we have many deaths in the Mediterranean. So with two words, it is an example how Un European Union and Turkey can work on a specific project that can save lives and better condition and offer better conditions to refugees. It's a win-win. Yeah. Regarding Turkey's accession process to EU, how do you see the current status exactly? In my opinion, the current status uh, is not as it should. Uh, following the attempt, the coup attempt of July, last July, but also following um, the blanket trials, the arrests, uh, the problems that the press sees in Turkey with um, getting journalists into jail, getting parliamentarians into jail, uh, Europe is very hesitant to carry on with this process. My personal opinion is that especially during times of crisis, this process should be alive because it gives us a table to discuss the Turkish government, organizations and also the European Union to sit on the table and discuss all issues without any problems because the accession is the target we have to work for, but the road goes through the chapters, goes through every issue. So, in my opinion, uh, either Turkey or European Union must not work under fear. We must be open, have our differences, but work, because the main common target is to improve relations on the highest level. Let's talk, uh, talk about uh, a bit the, the coup attempt in last year in Turkey. After the coup attempt uh, the last year, some military officers uh, escaped to Greece. Uh, how, is, how is this situation uh, seen in Greece? Uh, 
now. The matter went to the justice system because uh, they asked not to be returned to Turkey. And uh, the judges examined the situation and according to the international law, um, if a trial, um, a fair trial is not possible in the country from where people left or if is the danger of death penalty, then the courts have the right to decide not to return these people. That does not mean that they're innocent because charges are there and somebody, we must find a way to check and be a court that decides about their innocence or their guilt. But according to the international law, if a fair trial is not assured or if the death penalty may be applied, then the European courts usually decide against sending people back to their homes, mm -hmm. to their countries. Chapters uh, 23 and 24, they are uh, very important for independence of, of the court for Turkey. Unfortunately, their opening was blocked in the past. Isn't it better for Greece to have a fully democratic and Western Turkey? Why is Greece not the best supporter for Turkey's EU membership? In fact, created obstacles for many years. The decision of the Republic of Cyprus to block some chapters uh, was imposed because Turkey did not include the Republic of Cyprus in any agreement with the European Union. For example, Turkish boats cannot go to, uh, Cyprus boats cannot go to Turkish um, ports. So, for, uh, for me, uh, Turkey cannot take Europe by peace. European Union is one, one part, one of the, one, one puzzle, let's say, one piece mm -hmm. is Cyprus. So every agreement that Union does with Turkey contains Cyprus. But this is my, the, the basic idea. In my opinion, it was very wrong not to open the chapters, to block the chapters, because it didn't pursue the real target we had so that Cyprus is accepted as part of the Union from the Turkish side, but also blocked our uh, chance to work with Turkey on very important matters, one of which is justice. So, in my, op my opinion, blocking chapters is the worst way if you want to work with Turkey to see where Turkey deviates from the international law or from the European acquis. So, my personal opinion is that all chapters should be open, not only justice, but also public procurement, the way state does business with uh, business, businessmen. I mean, everything must be open so we can work on these issues and if there is a difference, we must find a way to converge. This was the idea of the accession process. Yeah. There are good friendship messages between Greece and Turkey. We are very happy about it, I believe. But um, we still have concerns like the islands. How do you see today's condition about the islands? The good relations that we have are not just uh, from the prime ministers, basically are from the people. People from both sides of the Aegean. We do business, we share tourism, yeah. we have no visa. Turkish people can come to, and we gave a battle in Europe to support this, this visa because Europe was thinking to, to, to eliminate that. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, uh, working conditions very well between Istanbul and Thessalonica. Between, so uh, I think the reality shows that these two countries can not only coexist but uh, work together and produce wealth for both people. Now, uh, if there are any problems that exist in the Aegean, like the difference we have about who controls what around the island, six miles, 10 miles, 12 miles, which is how is, because we have an opinion and uh, we think that this is the international law, but okay, any country is entitled to another opinion. There are ways that these problems are solved by going to the high court in Hague, 
we can solve any difficulties that uh, are interpretations of international law. We, our side says that our interpretation is the correct, but the, the, the justice can be applied and there will be no problems. And I think it's not a coincidence that although for 40 years we have a, a strong rhetoric sometimes about this or that, we keep on going. And every time we find ways of overcoming these obstacles, because reality is what dictates cooperation for refugees, for economic growth, for better relations, for solving the Cyprus problem. So let's forget about the rhetoric. The courts are there. If we need, we will go there. But it's no need. We can work even without these. Mm. I'd like to ask this Cyprus. Cyprus. Uh, when Cyprus was elected in your country, it created a lot of uh, excitement. How is now about to, uh, how is the condition regarding economic crisis today? When uh, Alexis Tsipras was elected in 2015, uh, his uh, political program was uh, offering hope, saying that he will change everything. But it is easy to promise; it is very difficult to deliver in real life if you just think that promising makes it real. The government had discovered very fast after six months that reality was different than one they hoped or they knew or they understood. And they, they were shocked. And this shock still appears every time they have to take measures to, to push the real economy, every time they, they they need to understand how Europe is working. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult to, to have in government uh, political parties or people that they do not have any experience either on business or on um, governing. Greece is paying this issue and the, the situation, although the Greek people for seven years are paying a lot, are losing income, are losing pay, um, the, the, the prosperity they had, they're losing pes pensions, they pay and they get less and less money. Although for seven years we do this, hope is not o yet on the horizon. Mm -hmm. So we can only say that we hope that the lessons will finish and actions will be taken to strengthen the real economy. The situation is not good. And we hesitantly see also the situation in Turkey is not good for the moment. And we are afraid that a general uh, uh, economic climate yeah. will uh, be for both yeah. neighboring countries. Um, finally, regarding Cyprus, uh, the never-ending story. Are we close to the, the, the solution, for your opinion? It seemed that we were. It seemed that uh, in November, when in the end of the Obama administration, the two presidents found a common ground. But then small incidents, this and that and the other, and then the Turkish referendum that pushed the discussions further, the, the, uh, further and further in time. And now Cyprus is going into presidential elections next year and uh, the climate is changing. I'm afraid that we lost some time and we have to, to still work on the solution because it is there. There cannot be a, a solution for both communities aside the unified island that uh, can work on tourism, on minerals, on everything together, uh, also having the best relations with Greece and Turkey member of the European Union as a whole, this is the only solution that can be there. So we must try to find a viable way towards that solution. Maybe not, we lost one chance, but not the full game. The solution is on the table and I'm sure that we will reach it. Thanks for coming for my program. Uh, how can I say thank you in Greek? Ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ. Thank you very much for being here in the European Parliament.
Hanımlar, beyler bugünkü Brüksel kavgasının da sonuna geldik. Bizi seyrettiğiniz için çok teşekkür ederiz. 15 günde bir YouTube kanalında sizlerle birlikte oluyoruz. Programa katkı sunan tüm isimsiz kahramanlara da teşekkür ediyorum. Bugünlük bizden bu kadar. Bir sonraki programda tekrar görüşmek dileğiyle. Hoşçakalın.